Tech Mobile Communication Lecture Series Session 3 In this session we are going to see about the topic is Channel Assignment Strategies or Channel Allocation Techniques The main objectives of Channel Assignment Strategies to increasing the system capacity and also to minimizing the interference So these are all the two main objectives that's why we go for channel assignment strategies and the next one classification of channel assignment strategies fixed channel assignment strategies dynamic channel assignment strategies these are all the two different type of classifications available in your channel assignment strategies or channel allocation techniques what is fixed channel assignment fixed channel assignment each cell is allocated a predetermined set of channels any call attempt within the cell can only be served by the unused channels in that particular cell if all the channel in that cell are occupied the call is blocked and the subscriber does not receive service the advantages of FCA FCA it is a fixed channel assignment simple load it's like signaling load is simple and less load on MSC MSC stands for mobile switching center so these are all the advantages of FCA and the next one disadvantage Call blocking may be happen. Dynamic channel assignment strategies. So what is dynamic channels? The channels are not allocated to different cells permanently. Each time a call request is made, the, ser the service base station requests a channel from the MSC. The switch then allocates a channel to the requested cell following an algorithm that takes into account here we are using some algorithm in dynamic channel assignment strategies the first one the likelihood of fixture blocking within the cell the frequency of use of candidate channel the reuse distance of the channel other cost functions advantages of TCA TCA it is a dynamic channel assignment voice channels are not allocated permanently so that is shared on the need of basis DCA reduces the call blocking which results in increasing the trunking capacity of the systems so these are all the advantages of TCA next disadvantage of TCA to increase storage and computational load at MSC and the next one it is very complicated so these are all the disadvantages of DCA here I mentioned some comparison of FCA and DCA based on channel allocation so channel allocation FCA is each cell is allocated a predetermined set of voice channel and DCA is voice channels are not allocated to different cells permanently and the next one for call request based on call request FCA if all the channels in the cell are occupied the call is blocked and the subscriber does not receive service based on call request DCA each time a call request is made the serving base station requests a channel from the MSC based on flexibility in channel allocation FCA is low and then DCA is high reusability of channel in FCA is maximum possible and then DCA is limited A grade of service FCA is fluctuating and then DCA is stable call setup delay in FCA is low and then DCA is moderate or high 
frequency planning in fca is complex and then dca is none then signaling load in fca is low and then dca is moderate or high based on control in fca is centralized and then dca is centralized decentralized or distributed thank you